I know that a lot of you guys are fans of succession games. Especially if the succession games include the other creators. Well, today I'm starting a, a standard succession game, meaning that we will play as the same nation, probably have a few stack switches, and we will be switching every 50 years. Today, I'm starting at Genoa, and I'll be playing for the first 50. Tomorrow, at 6 p.m. Central European time, you will see Habibi. Than you have ever imagined. The world Continue in this campaign. Then on Sunday, I'll upload my second part, playing the third 50 years. And on Monday, they'll be having me playing another 50 years. Four videos in four days. You better fasten your seatbelts, because I'm gonna make it crazy. Goal for my first 30 years is to set up a really good economy. Hello! I like money! So then Habibi can take it over and start doing some magic around what we are doing. I also don't want to go super meta slave. Impossible. Meaning that I want to control as many train centers in the Mediterranean, that's the main goal, but I also want at Tech 7 to unlock exploration ideas and start a bit of colonization. But first things first, Let's start taking care of our country. Rivals, let's go for some easy goals like Saluzzo, since they rivaled me anyway, Crimea, same, and Georgia, since I might be expanding around there. Then we go straight to the estate, where obviously I will start with power points from each of the estate, and I won't be going very deep into the setup, you know it very well, I want to just clarify that this is the key thing that I want to take, the religious diplomat. It gives us diplomatic reputation, which with diplomatic reputation for an advisor will increase my chances to get as many people as possible invited into our trade league. This is our starting setup. As for the diet, actually a concourse of tin is interesting, but it's also very risky because crime might just ally everyone around. So instead, I'll just go for 30% of the trade power in Gulf of Odessa. There's no diplomatic reputation advisor now, so I'm gonna start looking for him. And I will immediately get the other advisors. Fortunately, nothing for the military, but reinforced speed will be still useful. <sighs> Such a bad bonuses. Yeah, at least missionary strength is something I can leverage to convert the provinces. Now, you see that Genoa has a mission tree. I think it's from the Emperor DLC. And this requires me to have 60 trade power in Genoa. It starts with 52, but if I go ahead and take Protect Trade, it's gonna obviously be over 60 over monthly. I can also immediately choose my naval doctrine. And since I'll be fighting a lot on the navy, I will go for the galley combat ability. General from the estate, 40 tradition, mm, could be better. Now since I'll be fighting early on, I'll start recruiting a free company already. So be slightly over my limit, but it is fine. And we can just go ahead. It's gonna be alliance options and we can start inviting people to the trade league. Start with Siena and Luca. Which is actually good for us because it's gonna increase our trade power in the Genoa node. And you see that actually updated my trade power already. So we're getting claims around us on Luca, Pisa and Niza, as well as Tunis. You see that Mantua and Bologna are potentially happy to join our league, but I don't have trade power in Venice. So to achieve that, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, send my trades to protect the trade around there. Now I see it's not even possible, so we need to send our merchant. You remember the republics, especially here the Italian ones are having the factions. Right now the aristocrats are giving us more of armies and sailors, but they're decreasing trade power abroad. I could go ahead for the trade, global trade power and naval maintenance, or I could go for construction costs and goods prudence modifier. I think for now we'll keep this because we might fight soon. With diplomatic reputation advisor, I can certainly go ahead and invite uh, another nation, Saluzzo, to our trade league. Now with trade power in Venice, I can invite a set, huh, three nations, Mantua, Bologna and Sili. Also the Knights, as you see, are very happy to join our league, but they already joined the league uh, led by Venice, so rip. But we've got already six countries in the league, which means I can get trade efficiency and diplomatic reputation. I'm gonna take it because that diplomatic reputation is gonna allow me to get even more people to the trade league. With Cyprus, I'm gonna close for now the list of people I'm inviting to the league. 
and this is a really good boost for a start for our economy i'll just give it another month tick to update yep as you see we got 13 income and free balance hello i like money that means i could afford taking another merc stack for our first war and i'm gonna focus on some of good siege like guardia corsa is having to siege a perfect starter by the way our full limit also increased just a bit thanks to the trade leak with this done i can go ahead and declare war on florence which is gonna be supported by savoy but i think we'll be all good by the way i did not even check any big allies and we need some great powers as our allies is france and austria rival to each other no so it means i can take both austria and france as our allies they love me would you be stoppers for any potential coalition? I'm so sorry, Florence. That starts with a stack wipe. While I'm having fun in Europe, I'll start making some claims on nations around here, like Circassia, Georgia, and Trebson. I forgot I have so many provinces of different religions. It hurts uh, boosting stability. So how about we go to burgers and we improve it a little bit with one privilege that is giving us heaven's tolerance. Yeah, so it dropped a bit. Uh, it's, it's still not enough. I will, I'll need the mana that I'm saving for the conquest of Florence provinces. I'm just thinking if to, I should take this two or this two. Because Nitsa is also our claim. It's not that much even. Do I need it for the mission? I do. I'm gonna take it because it's gonna unlock us the mission around here. Shorter truce, I'm gonna not have any coalition, a bit less of trade power, but it is fine. I think I'm not gonna even take money, maybe just break the relations. And that mission, pulverized pizza is uh, Adimada for calling the provinces and also some sailors. Next one requires you to have larger fleets than Aragon. <laughs> I'm gonna start building it already as uh, we need trade ships for sure there's just no slowdown since we are preparing for the war with uh, byzantium i also don't want to go super meta slave super meta slave by the way since i have a lot of ae i'm gonna just take improved relation bonus on the trading and ottomans just declared on dual kadir so that's a good starter for us i can go after byzantium surprisingly byzantium has 14,000 troops i assume a lot of them are here so We'll figure out getting to Constantinople later. No, they are actually here. Well, well, well. Do we focus Constantinople or do we focus uh, Greece? I think I'm gonna first wipe the troops since there are no forts and then we'll go to north. Easiest wipe ever. Yep, now it's just a matter of car passaging around here. And going uh, for Constantinople. Mr. Aragon, we have to start feeling fear of us attacking you. We have to deal with Venice at the same time. The only option with the peace against Byzantium is obviously full annexation. That's a bit of diplo points we will pay as well as AE. Many on Venice that starts to hate us. But this is perfect, and I don't need this lands for myself. Uh, but I also don't need to release Byzantium, you know? That depends how deeply you want to go into Ottomans. Then Byzantium would be very useful, but I also... I'd prefer to have a trade company in Constantinople, you know, guys? No, I for now release Byzantium. And I'll focus on regaining their course. And once I annex them, which will happen in these first 50 years, once I annex them, I uh, will be creating the trade companies. Building up our army around in Italy gives us stability as well as an admiral with 65 tradition that I will use on my trade fleet. Since I got two events in a row for 25 autonomy in Azov, oh, no. I don't really need it to be my state. I just destate it and create a trade company instead. I think I'm not gonna, gonna do the same in the state here. As this really does not to be my full core. So now my control in this node should be significantly better, just 39%. I can just take uh, two loans and uh, make an investment here. Ugh, one more loan. It's fine. We can afford it. We can make an investment here for additional trade power which makes it 42 and with promoting it's not 50 yet but we'll make it 50 soon but yeah for all of these changes our economy is already at 17.7 .7 of ducats i cannot really break alliances of crimea unless i use an oopsie dime by the ottomans which let Kander leave with a trade center 
so we'll be able to separate Peace Crimea and break in their alliances. Our first Gantu form is gonna give us yearly Republican traditions so we can re-elect our rulers more often. I was thinking that, yeah, on one hand it is it would be good to play around with a lot of uh, trade companies running this region and uh, just have a lot of money from merchants, but on the other we won't cover into forms and that's not gonna help with it. <sighs> yeah, we'll definitely need to expand more with our real provinces in Italy, so it's gonna balance out the conquests around here. Ooh, Ottomans just warned us. Well, that doesn't actually give us anything. It only works for the uh, nations that we border. And I might start thinking about attacking them. We just need Austria to get stack 400 military, which is obviously not easy with the ruler. Trebzon is already ours, and from Georgia I only want the trade center. Double checking is the correct one. And I'm humiliating them as my rival, so I get the Age of Discovery bonus. I can finally build a flagship, and that's gonna be a heavy ship with additional cannons, ship trade power and morale. And this is gonna be called Habibi, I want you to read it. Okay, Zavisha. Czarne. Just temporarily for the war, one first war of Ottomans, I'm gonna ally Poland. <laughs> which actually chose the local noble. But why I'll be carrying favors in Poland? I have stuff to do in Europe, don't worry. I will go ahead and declare the war on Aragon to take over Sardinia. And France is gonna help me deal with Venice. And embracing the institution, I could wait for it to spread, but I want to embrace it now as that's tech 5 on the military that I will use in this war and also in the war against the Ottomans. Poland immediately requested knowledge sharing. Oh, I love war taking... It's just up to date, I'm not taking it ahead of time, but it's innovativeness I'm taking from this technology. I'll take admin as well soon, uh, without innovativeness, but that unlocks us the first idea group. I told you, the second idea group I planned was exploration, so... I shouldn't take anything diplomatic. I'm not sure if I want to take anything military, so we're left with admin choices. It's, it's not a wide gameplay that we conquer anything. No, for the war with uh, Byzantium. I think I'll go for infrastructure because with exploration idea is gonna give us colony development boost. So let's just go start filling this and later also switch. I can switch my focus to admin already, should I? Maybe not yet? No, I think I can. I absolutely can. In the meantime, something that it really often happens, and it's really good news for us. Rhodes got Byzantine uh, rebels, and you see, it went back to Byzantium. Yes! I don't know why, but Byzantium is maintaining the 16,000 troops, which is getting them straight to bankruptcy. I don't want to keep Venice too much in this war. It's not really useful for us. Just more reparations since more participation is... Uh, we have a bit actually, so I can I can try taking a bit of money at the top of that, but... But they're gonna agree on a lot. Yeah, this is really good. If we wait for this uh, two points to be occupied, it's gonna be even more. Thank you, that's a couple of ducats for us. And so we'll be getting closer to peace out Aragon now. Let's see how's our army quality. Yeah, even though we're not numbered, I think, yeah, we've lost a couple, and uh, it still was an easy battle. And so that was good enough to enforce peace on Aragon. I did we also take reparations, and I think if we do that, it's a big chance, yeah, they're gonna accept this, a bit of money on top of this. Oh yeah, no one gets expansion, nobody cares, and Genoa, guys, just keeps growing. B E A beautiful. That gives us a mission C Sardinia, which is 50 trade power in the Genoa node, and additional claims uh, around here and here. The Shadow Kingdom just started, and I think that's actually good news because when this nations leave HRE, it will be much less aggressive expansion to take the provinces. I have to call Poland to the war ASAP because yeah, there will be conflicts with Tony Coder happening now. Uh, I'm actually prepared. Let's just declare war of the Ottomans. It's gonna be the conquest of uh, Gelibolo, called Poland and Austria. I'm gonna put some dirt in your eye. We should have a gigantic advantage on the numbers, but Miltek 5. Miltek 5, that's good. 
But this me take four, and there's no Lithuania because there's no Union. I can also see my uh, flagship in action. I forgot I split the trade fleet. Uh, yeah, I probably should run away, but they're starting to lose ships as well. I should be reading these numbers here. It looks good. This ship will go down. Yeah, we're winning this. If I had the flagship since they want that would be really an easy win. But instead, I did lose a few ships. Yeah, there it is, the Shadow Kingdom. Let's take a look. Did anyone stay in the Empire? No. Uh, I think I'm gonna leave it as well. Yeah, I'm not planning to expand the HRE. It's gonna hurt our relations with Austria, but we have a really good relationship with Austria, so it's fine. Ah, there's the question of the Empire event, which gives us perma claim on Ferrara. And once we conquer it, we're gonna get claims on Dalmatia. Mm, AI Austria dying to the Ottomans in random battles. I've seen this one. I've seen this one. This is a classic. Third guarantee from his definite election term, so I can keep re-electing my rulers more often to get them to 666. First bonus from the papacy I'll take is improved relations and yellow poopy condition. Just a perfect combination for us. I can also go ahead and start the golden era. It's not like I'm taking it fully for myself, because almost half of it is gonna stay for Habibi. That does allow us to take rain re in reinvigorate the Republic, which is two base tax in Genoa, but also death cost, uh, spread his institution and possible advisors there. And the Mare Nostrum will require me to lead trade power in six different nodes in the Mediterranean Sea, uh, which is give, gonna give us a permanent bonus to our navy. From the Ottoman side, taking all of the cores of Byzantium, two trade centers for ourselves, and uh, just a bit of money on top of that. I immediately start an accession of Byzantium. It's fine, it's gonna cost that much because uh, I'm actually not so ahead of the Diplo points as I thought. But it is fine, I'll, I can go behind a little bit. Can I just make the annexation even faster? 4085 is not bad. I could do also no ability to speed this up, but that's for later. You just keep in mind they have 137 development. I myself have 179. That allowed me to become a great power. Not bad, 1464. We are number 8. Now with AE down in Europe and no HRE in Italy, I'm gonna focus hard on conquering the provinces around here. Katrina Sforza, that's a cheaper advisor. I have one for military already. So let's take the one for admin, so a little bit more of the tax beta. You know what, I'll enforce Catholic on Byzantium, just so annexation is gonna be a bit faster, I just have to disable David trade for a while. I wanted to attack Milan because they're still my rival, so I could show strength on them, but it looks like we're just gonna focus on expansion. That's why I'm gonna attack uh, Ferrara instead with the help of Poland to deal with Bohemia. There it is, the first bonus in Age of Discovery, and that's obviously a guess expansion impact. So can now go ahead and peace out Florence with, yeah, a bit of AE, but nothing crazy for this amount of development. This peace deal is also a bit of AE, but thanks to the alliances that they've set up. So, a reminder, France, Austria and Poland, even a small coalition doesn't matter. This is obviously fast in Ferrara mission, uh, which is also unlocking us over Shadow Venice. It wasn't hard with some more of armies and navies and claims on the Veneto area. This looks so big, like I was fighting like half of the world. But according to this, Austria could protect Burgundy. It looks like they're not. And Castile already joined on the French side, so we all should be free to join it as well. There goes show strength, um, but before I do that, I can set up a piece both uh, of these two guys. And as you know, prestige is always of use because the more prestige you have, the more improved relations and less I guess, expansion you're getting. All right, the most important thing I wanted to show you, just you know, a reminder what a show strength is doing, the peace deal. It's giving us a hundred of each monarch power. So if you take a look here, focus on these numbers, yeah, there's a bit of an increase. Now I'll be taking some time to get AE in Europe down. Which means we can go ahead and attack Tunis instead. Taking diplomatic annexation costs and deep rep 
from the Holy See is making the annexation of Byzantium a bit faster. With some play around with my ships, you'll see that I am the strongest power in Valencia, Genoa, Tunis, almost in Venice, but I'm also in Ragusa, Constantinople, as well as Crimea, which gives me the perma mission with uh, more of navies, naval maintenance and yearly navy tradition. With over 300 development we can become a kingdom which is important because we are running slowly out of gaff capacity. I'm just thinking if it should end up being my state or trade company. Trade company is obviously another merchant, which I don't need right now. And I also need low autonomy to keep increasing my reform progress. For now let's just uh, call off these provinces and later we might think about the other actions. But yeah, conquer Tunis is another to mercantilism as well as uh, claims in Morocco. And I'm not gonna do any other missions from this tree because now we'll go ahead and yeah, almost 100% I'm destating. Destated, change our main culture to Tuscan. And you see that unlocks us decision to form Tuscany at Tech 10, which I can't do. That's something uh, for Habibi to decide if he wants to parse this, but I'm just giving him a chance. With the culture change, I can go ahead and stay this and this. Oh, very unfortunate. We just got excommunicated. Oh, no. Anyway, anyway we can simply go ahead and spend six cotton ducats to buy indulgence. And not care about that anymore. Another thing to do would be just to simply switch our ruler. But since election is in three years, I don't have time for that. And uh, in the meantime, I'll be praying to declare war on Venice. Uh, on the excommunication, Casus Belli. Come on. Let's reinvite these guys to the league. Yep, excommunication, Casus Belli. And as you remember, excommunication CB is 50% AE for the provinces. That's gonna allow me to eat the Venice pretty well. Problem is, I will most probably lose alliance with Poland because, yeah, I don't think I have any war that I could declare unless I declare on the Ottomans with Poland and then declare Venice simultaneously. I think that will work. We just have to wait a year. Mm. And we might want to break our alliance with either France or Austria because they don't... Ooh, okay, I was... Uh... Okay, that should be fixed now. Yep, just the excommunication broke the relations a lot. I will start improving relations with both in the mean. And the game Italy is just perfect because you can get so much innovativeness by just taking the text up to date. You see, this is for innovativeness. We are 29 already. And if I don't take it yet, it's fine. I take one more idea infrastructure. That's yet another two innovativeness, but also morale of navy that is gonna be of use. So now this is already at 31, and we are definitely saving for tech 7 at admin. Mmm, a revolution in Genoa. I will lose oh, a lot. Or. Force new election. I will dig on this event. So it looks like it is not a flavor Genoese event. I'm looking at the wiki. That's rather a general republic event. So I think I'm safe to just pick the second option. New election is fine. The guy was terrible anyway. Let's see who else can we get. 41 years old. Not bad. Free tax for money. And let's see what kind of perk is gonna get. Spy, oh yeah, at least it's not negative. But in the meantime, we just unlocked tier 4 guarantee for which is around religion. And I think I'll go for the lands of the church, which is Curia bonuses. Alternatively, we boost our temples for the additional tax, or we get admin deck cost. Pretty useful at this point right now. I'll go for the papacy bonuses. Poland is preparing to attack Ottomans in war of aggression. Well, if that's the case, <laughs> that's not gonna happen. I'm just thinking what I'd want to do with the Ottomans, because we don't want to just conquer all of them. That's that's not fun. We just need trade centers, and I've got all of them from the Ottomans already. So maybe just we'll go for Humli's rival for more mana. Or we do I will release a second subject here. I'll go for um Karaman. So let's just go for the conquest of something easy to take over Philippe. 
and ask both Poland and Austria, just Poland to help us. So Poland will not attack Ottomans by themselves, while the armies here will be preparing to attack Venice, because Poland won't be able to help them, and as you will see, oh, they're not excommunicated anymore, uh, that's unfortunate, that's unfortunate, yeah, but yeah, saving the alliance of Poland was more important. I will attack here with Austria. There goes the tech 7. It unlocks me the second idea group, which is, as I promised you, exploration. I can immediately take the first one, which allows me to recruit explorers and conquistadors, which uh, I will prepare right away. So you guys here, we go ahead and start exploring Africa. So from the Ottomans, I'm taking all of these provinces. As told you, I just want to release a new subject here, which is going to be caravan. I could have waited to piece it out, but Mamluks already got position in this terrain, so I don't want to risk it. And now we are just about to finalize the war with Venice, where I want all of these provinces. By the way, my trust with France is pretty low. That's probably because I separate piece the war with Burgundy. That's why I will go ahead. How many favors do we have? 47. Let's use that favors to increase the trust. Let's use 30 of them. So now they'll be uh, yeah, much more happy to stay allied to us. Interestingly, that piece uh, with Ottomans means Mamluks will be able to join our coalition. <sighs> There's one simple solution. I attack Mamluks next. That's why I'm piecing out uh, Venice already, taking two of the trade centers and just fixing the borders a bit. This is a bit of AE, but it is fine. We'll fix these borders, or Habibi will fix these borders. Uh, just first, let's just go ahead and uh, release Caravan, giving them province of Adalia as well. That is also an important uh, subject for us, because uh, it allows me to take a privilege for the nobility, that is uh, strong duchies with two relation slots, so I'm no longer over my limit. Oh, Burgundian succession is happening. Of course, they lost territories to France and they become a junior partner. No, God, please, no, no! Oh, really? France is now, tri now rival to both Austria and Poland. No! Uh, I have to get rid of one of this. Poland 40,000, Austria 24,000, France. Yeah, France is definitely priority. They just clicked the mission to fully annex Burgundy. Uh, yeah, Austria is not even an HRE emperor, so you know what? Uh, my friendship is all Austria has ended. Then immediately France declared war on Austria. Peace deal with Alexandria, with Mamluks, is gonna be pretty beefy because I'm gonna steal the heart of the Alexandrian note. But that should allow me to get a merchant out of Aleppo and Alexandria trade notes. This is also mission fulfilled in Alexandria, which is additional mercantilism, trade efficiency in ship counts and AE impact. I'm just going to add all of these provinces to the trade companies. Improve the trade centers. And you see now that I should, yes, I will have four merchants from the trade companies, which means seven merchants in total. Yeah, that allowed us to hit 40 cents of trade income and in general 72 of it. Hello, I like money. Now really is the time to prepare for Habibi the expansion towards the new world. We have only eight years left, so probably I won't do much, but I can go to war against uh, Aragon slash Castile. Uh, yeah, we need to get France into another conflict first. And you know, before I even uh, start colonizing, I first need colonial orange. That's why I'm gonna unlock the Diplotech 7. France is enough in debt to not join that war. I will just have to do some final preparations and I will declare this won't be an easy conflict. They have Castile, they have Portugal and they have Aragon in one conflict. Since I'll be hitting the GAF capacity soon, let's just take a privilege from the clergy to make it a bit better. In the meantime, we already discovered the new world as we are in the Caribbean. The last infrastructure idea is development cost as well as construction time and expand administration costs. If I wanted to click it here, it would just cost me one reform progress, but Obviously, we don't want to do that yet. Annexation of Byzantium is now finished, and that's one of the reasons I uh, did want more GAF capacity, since uh, I'll go ahead and state all of these provinces. That should go and help us decreasing the overall autonomy in the country, 
maximum power as well as the force limit, especially that we took. Captain Tunis, don't raid me. See, we have 56 of force limit now and uh, 39,000 maximum power. But that's nothing because I will go ahead and decrease autonomy in all of these provinces. And it's because we need some strong base, right, for our country. So then uh, these trade companies do not impact our average autonomy in the country too much. And we can keep getting the reforms here. Okay, it's time to declare that war because soon France will be recovered enough to not care about the loans. I will go for the conquest of Castello or Messina. I don't need Messina, I want to go west. Let's go for the Castello. What is the easier war go for? I think it's gonna be easier to get to here. So let's go for the conquest of Messina then. I wouldn't be myself if I didn't leave some Polish signs in the country before passing it to Habibi. And I want a challenge for him where he reads all of the Polish names I left in the Italian lands. Like, for example, we've got Chosztyże Woszyce, Poziżadło, Brzesko Strzewko, Tyszliścin, Rzeszyczyce, Szczebrzeszyn, Rawenna jest od Cięczki et Modena. Obviously that's Grujec. Polska Goro. And Wulka Zawęska. We are already Habibi. We can do this. Obviously it will be very important to win the navy with them. And you see what I'm doing to Aragonese. Since I do have money, I'm already having a stack of max artillery for the current of the force. I'm getting the maximum level on the siege from them. Plus some infantry just to protect it, but this stack is not to fight, it's to siege. The stack to fight uh, is... Where they are? Oh, yeah, yeah, the 24,000 independent company. Unbelievable. I made so much to keep France happy with us, right? They just rivaled us while being our ally. This is fine. Rivaled us while being our ally. And they don't even need really our provinces. It's not their strategic interest. I have to find new friends. Thanks uh, to unlocking other colonial range but as you see, I, I can already go to the Caribbean without any provinces from the Spaniards. So I think that's, that will adjust my peace deal with the Spaniards. I will not be focusing on any of their islands. This is it, guys. How many guys? They, they lost 81,000 troops in this war. All for this couple of trade centers. I wanted Palermo for sure. Maybe instead of Cadiz. So we control the Mediterranean trade uh, even more than we do already. Obviously, all of these provinces will land will not land in our trade companies because our capital is in the same continent but that will definitely help with the income there we go guys 50 years mark <sighs> i think this is just a perfect setup we're controlling most of the military and see no uh, trade see 106 of income that we're having 70 of force limited 53 000 of maximum power this is the perfect country to start doing fun stuff, which I know that happy people do. This was just a build up. Second video in the Happy Beast channel will be for sure about memes and making it more fun. And then after him, I'll take it over and I'll try making it even more fun. So, guys, please remember to leave a like on this video if you did enjoy it. And of course, subscribe to the channel to get notified about the future content. And I'll see you in the Happy Beast comment section. Bye!